Does this really surprise anyone? Probably not. Hey, hey guys, welcome back. Um, hopefully you watched my other videos, probably not. Today's video is gonna be how to survive camping at Coachella because I will be doing that this year and it's my second year doing it and it's amazing. Last year was my first year um, camping at Coachella and at first I did not want to do it. I was like, no, there's no way I am not camping, but obviously cannot afford a hotel. So <laughs> I ended up camping and it was hands down like the best experience ever and I'm always gonna for sure I'm always gonna go camping now and if you like to like seriously get ready and um, do your makeup and all that kind of stuff it's definitely possible you can totally do it and hopefully this video will I guess help you know what to bring and it's kind of just like a uh, how to survive just camping at Coachella number one is you definitely need baby wipes. I cannot even stress how much you need that. Since you're gonna be at the like festival all day and it's pretty much all dirt, not all dirt, but it is the majority dirt, and it it's windy and it just gets everywhere all over your skin. Like I literally looked more tan because of dirt all over me. So you definitely need baby wipes and that's just for camping and even inside the festival you're going to need that because there's porta, porta potties and gross. So that is a definite thing and it just, you know, in case you don't want to shower, I showered every day. If you don't want to shower every day, those are like good to just wipe all over your body. But that helped me like keep myself clean. That is the number one. Bring like a big, big stack of um, baby wipes. You're not allowed to bring glass inside the camping, but I snuck in a mirror because obviously I was going to be camping, I need to put on my makeup, I need to get ready, so I did bring a mirror. I just like hid it in my suitcase because I didn't really check in there. Um, this is the one I have. Oh look, you can kind of see my room. But um, I got this one from Ikea and I can just prop it like on the ground and I and then it just it moves so it was definitely like easier for me to do my makeup and do my hair and stuff. If you're a girl and you need to get ready and you're gonna go camping, this is gonna be your best friend. Honestly, I recommend don't not bringing a, a tent because it gets really hot. Like it gets really, really hot and you're not gonna wanna be inside, inside that tent. So I recommend not bringing a tent Bring a tarp, bring one of those like uh, like an easy up tent, I guess. Like the ones that just go over just the top. That's what I re would recommend bringing because it's really hot like I said. And then bring a blow up mattress or sleeping bags and a lot of blankets because you will be sleeping on the floor. Bring a blow up mattress, that's, that's a good one. Also bring chairs. Um, like the ones that are the foldable chairs, bring those. Next thing on the list is portable battery because you're camping, there's no electricity at all, so you definitely need to bring a portable battery. Um, last year I got our RAV Power, I think. Um, I bought another one this year just because I've had this one for a year and I don't know if like the battery life um, sh like shrinks or something. So I bought a, a second one. You are going to need this unless you want to go. The campgrounds do have um, little areas where you can go charge your phone but why would I want to go away from everyone and sit there while my phone charges? I don't want to do that. This lasted me all four days because I you get there Thursday, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Actually, yeah, all four days and plus Monday morning, so the fifth day. It was like dying, but it lasted me all day. This year, I got the little mini ones, which I'm going to take inside the grounds just because last year I didn't take as many pictures as I wanted or videos because my phone was dying all day. So I got two of these um, so I can take inside the festival. I recommend doing that. I got these for like eight bucks and my friend just got some at Target for $5. Next thing is, since you're gonna be out there when you get back from like the festivals at night, you're gonna need lanterns. <laughs> so any little lamps, cause then you won't be able to see And I mean, your phone's there, but what if it died? Next thing I would say is speakers. Um, any speaker, honestly, because you're gonna be at the campgrounds a really long time. You get there Thursday morning. So Thursday, the festival does not start Thursday. You just get there Thursday. 
Um, and you have all day to, I guess, like mingle and get to know your people and just walk around, do all the activities. But you will also be at like your campsite for a while. So bring speakers. Like that's that way you can just listen to music, you know? You know what I'm saying? That's definitely something I recommend doing. And since you're gonna be camping, don't forget your towel. Okay, my boyfriend forgot his towel and I mean, yeah, you dry so fast, but you you want a towel. Also, bring water. Last year, I think we were only taking two cases of water. There was about, I want to say, like, ten of us. Maybe more, maybe eleven. I don't even know. There was a lot of us, and we were only going to take two cases of water. And my dad's like, are you joking? So he gave us three more cases of water, like, the day of that we were leaving. And by literally, I think it was Sunday, we ran out of water bottles. So I definitely recommend everyone bring, like any, like the people you're going with, have every single person bring a case of waters because it's really hot out there and you're going to want to be drinking a lot of waters and staying hydrated. Trust me. Unless you're drinking beer, but you still want water. You know what I mean? Obviously, you're going to need sunscreen. You're gonna be in the sun 24-7. You need sunscreen, don't forget it. You need food, I'm not gonna be the one to say that. You don't need food if you're gonna be eating there, but that's, it's gonna get really pricey. I think we brought like fruits. We lived off of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Bring a cooler. They do sell ice there. You're gonna want that like throughout the day, especially like when you get there Thursday, you're gonna want cold water or drinks or beer, or whatever you wanna put in there. And you can buy ice like throughout the day or every day they come by and they give you ice. It's not free, obviously. You need like shampoo, body wash, and all that stuff. They're not gonna provide that for you, so don't forget to pack that in. If you're a girl, get your makeup, put it in bags. I had like 10 little bags of makeup for me. And I like to curl my hair, if you can't see that. I do, I like to curl my hair. So I bought a portable curling iron. It's not as strong, but it did the job. Bring activities, you're gonna be sitting around and waiting around for a while. I mean, I didn't just because it took me forever to get ready in the morning. Like, sun comes up, wakes you up by like 7 a.m. Like, it's already so hot, you're like, I need to, I, need, I just, I'm. it's really hot, I need to get up. So you get up regardless, doesn't matter if you're tired, so. The sun wakes you up at 7. I would get in line for the showers just because the line would get way longer later in the day. So as soon as I woke up, I would go straight to the showers and I would wait like 15 to 20 minutes. And then after that, like, me getting ready took me another, like, hour. So by the time I would be ready, it would be time to go inside. <laughs> so I didn't really have a lot of free time. Bring um, playing cards or bring like fun games or something that you can play while you're waiting around because you're gonna want that. Like my boyfriend brought cornhole. So bring stuff that like you will be able to do throughout your waiting time. I've heard from a lot of people, should I bring like a purse? Should I bring a backpack to like the festival? Um, I brought a tiny purse. This is the purse I had. It's like really small. This is how tiny it was. And since you're camping, you can literally just walk back to your campsite throughout the day. Okay, I get that it's gonna be like super hot and everything and you will be dying of like heat. But the first night on Thursday night that we got there was so cold. Oh my god. And since I thought it was gonna be so hot, whatever, and everyone was like, yeah, at night it wasn't even cold. I didn't bring any sweaters. I didn't bring any pants. I didn't bring sweats. I didn't bring any like warm clothing. Come Thursday night, I froze. And uh, that was like me under blankets and sleeping bags. Honestly, I get it's gonna be hot. Bring a sweater, bring sweats, bring like a long sleeve because you'd never know. Um, I hope this is kind of informational, like how to survive Coachella camping. Honestly, it's so much fun. Like if you have the opportunity to do it, do it. You meet your neighbors. You just meet a lot of people through there. And it's just so much fun. Hopefully this was informational. I hope you learned something from this video. If you're going to Coachella, like, it's literally next month. I'm so excited. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you do watch it. If, obviously, I have, like, no one probably watches this. But if you do, subscribe um, down below. 